Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about commenting. Alright. Now, I will create a new project. Let me name it as 03.py. Okay. And let me zoom in. Okay. Let me zoom in. So, what I will do here is leave a space in the first line. And in the second line, I am going to take, I am going to take input of radius value from the user. Okay. Enter the value of radius. Okay. And then in the next line, I will convert the value of radius into integer okay so i can do this in this line itself so it is left to you so you can do that and then i will say value of pi equal to 3.14 okay 3.14 and then i will calculate area of circle as pi into r square right so pi into into r square what is r r is radius radius so squared is given like this okay squared is given like this so single star means multiplication okay single star means multiplication and double stars double stars mean power of okay so this is radius square okay radius square all right and then i will print i will print area of circle Okay, print area of circle now when I run this when I run this it asks me for the value of radius okay so I'll enter 5 let us say and then I get area of circle as 78.5 all right now let us say this is a project on which you are working all right and you are working in group so what you have to do is you have to write some part of a program and then give it to your teammates and then teammates have to continue it all right to make it easy for others to understand what you have written we generally comment okay and to comment we start the comment by using hash icon okay which is obtained by pressing shift and three number three all right and then i write a description of what the program is about okay so this program takes radius input from user and calculates area of a circle okay so what i have done is i have written the description of this program okay so now when you give this to your teammate he'll be able to understand what this program does by reading this what is this this is a comment and how do you start a comment or how do you write a comment by using this hash symbol okay so when the software encounters this hash symbol it will ignore whatever is there in front of it or in other words it will ignore this entire line 
so it will not execute it okay so whatever is in front of hash is ignored all right now you can comment here too okay so this is this is of use to us but here you can use hash symbol and you can make a comment this line takes a radius input okay radius input so from here till here it will be ignored by the software okay from here till here it will be ignored by the software okay next if you want to ignore this line okay let us let me write one more line pi equal to 9 okay so i have written it simply it is of no use now so somewhere sometime if you feel a line should not be executed then all you need to do is write a hash symbol in, in front of it so when you write hash symbol this line will not be executed or it will be ignored by the software okay it will be ignored by the software so you can use this you, you can use this to communicate better with your teammates or let us say you have written this program you have written this program and then after a year after a year you come back and visit and try to make changes to this program but then after a year you would have forgotten what this program does right so to avoid this what you do is you comment wherever possible so that when you read the comment you come to know what this program does and you can continue from there okay now you can ignore or you can make the computer or i can say you can put hash symbols on multiple li multiple lines by selecting all these lines together and then clicking and holding control button and then clicking forward slash okay so while holding control button if you click on forward slash all these lines will be commented out okay or in other words hash symbol will be put in front of or i can say behind or at the beginning of all these lines okay so similarly if you want to remove them you need to select the lines and while holding control button you need to press the forward slash button okay so this is about commenting now if you want to make multi line comment if you want to make multi line comment then you can use triple quotes like this okay triple quotes like this yeah so triple quotes or three single quotes and then you can have multiple lines like this and then end it with once again triple quotes to have multi line comment okay so now whatever is in between these three quotes will be ignored by the software okay but remember remember if you use if you use triple quotes inside a print function inside a print function inside of print function then it prints out exactly how it looks to you okay so i am ravi so you can see this is ignored but this is printed out so if triple quotes are used inside print function then it will be printed out exactly how you see it or how you see them but if it is used outside print function then it is it will be used as multi line comment okay so this is about commenting now i want to 
tell one more thing about keywords so we have used let me go to google okay i have written a program here okay i have cleared this and i have written a program so length length okay should be taken by the user so input enter length and then it is converted into integer height it is taken by the user and it is converted to integer and then area equal to length into height okay and then i am printing out area i say the area is and then i print out area all right so you can pause the screen and see uh, how this program works now uh, when i click on play button so it asks me to um, asks me to enter length so i'll enter 5 and then click enter and then asks height i'll enter 6 and then it says area is 30 okay area is 30 now let me clear this okay now instead of saying length length uh, let me say true okay let me say true instead of using length as name for the location where i'll be storing length value let me use true okay so here i'll use true okay i'll use true and then if i click play button it gives me an error okay it says cannot assign to true now this is because python has a list of words which cannot be used as name of variables okay and we call it as keywords so if you go to google and enter python keywords list you can go to any of these websites so generally i go to the one by python.org so click this and then when you click on keyword it gives you list of words which cannot be used as name of variable okay so you can see true is one such word because these are all registered or reserved words okay these are reserved by python for some other functions and so you cannot use these as names for variables okay lambda lambda is one such word so if i try to use lambda and if i try to use lam da here so when i try to run it it gives me an error okay it gives me an error because this is a reserved keyword this is a reserved keyword by python so i cannot use any of these names all right so that is one thing and next is about string concatenation all right so let me uh say first name first name equal to input enter first name okay enter first name and then second name equal to input enter second name okay so it asks user to enter first name and then enter second name and then it prints out prints out full name okay first name first name plus second name okay so it prints out first name plus second name so when i run this it asks enter first name so i say ravi and then enter second name kumar and it gives me the 
full name which is Ravi Kumar. Okay, Ravi Kumar. All right. So you can see Ravi first name is joined along with joined to Kumar. Okay, first name Ravi is joined to Kumar and it has given me this. So this is called as string concatenation. So this is not a number. This is not a number. This is a name. This is also a name. So they are added together, joined together and a, and is given as result. Okay. Ravi Kumar. Okay. So this is enough for this video. Go ahead and practice what we have learnt in this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.